Like I missed that. Like yeah, I'm yeah. like, damn, I missed that whole little. That's super crazy, man. But look, check this out, man. Everybody in this building, I feel like we gotta all stick together. You know what I'm saying? We are all family. You know what I'm saying? And yep. I'm I'm finna super politic. You know what I'm saying right now? Cause mm. not welcome on this platform. Cause not coming back to. The we are not doing no interviews and we are not doing no vlogs. If I see Groove in this seat, you will not see me again. Up here on the set on on everything I love. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it was a level of disrespect where I felt like uh, he sat in his seat, you know what I'm saying, and disrespected a host in front of hosts. You feel me? And they they were super uncomfortable. You, they, you know what I'm saying? They didn't know what to say. I felt like everybody in the back probably was super uncomfortable. And if you watch the interview, the uncomfortable the whole interview. You know what I'm saying? He offered the uh, friendly Faye house phone for his chain. House phone, you looked at Fluster when he said that. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. They were just super crazy. You yeah, know what I'm saying? 100%. And I just felt like, you know, everybody should be on the same page. And it's more so the boss. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I, I, ain't, I never got on here and dissed. You know what I'm saying? And 100%. I'm never going to get on here and dissed. I ain't dissing. I, 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 I got a lot of love for some. And it was crazy niggas, that. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what I'm saying. It was crazy that. You have the amount of respect to never diss hoods either. Like, yeah. in your mm -hmm. vocabulary or none of that. I'm not doing you know, none of that. You yeah, feel 100%. me? I'm keeping my shit super respectful, super boss anyway, because I'm a boss. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna be sitting around arguing with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we got to. All right, man. So, T Real. So T Rail's putting his foot down in this, that, and the third. And not only T Rail, but I guess the whole Jump No Jumper podcast, right? You know what I'm saying? They felt like they all was disrespected. I watched it and that's what they were saying. So they, they felt like they was all being disrespected. You know what I'm saying? And it's a trip because some of the supporters was looking at it like, okay, you know what I mean? Um the supporters just wasn't feeling it, right? And then some people, I done watched a few people, I done tuned into some things and and, and then some of the supporters is feeling like, okay, Adam, you got to take the wheel. You know what I mean? Because it's like you, it, it seems to be that the No Jumper podcast is kind of like facilitating some type of like gangbang environment. You know what I'm saying? And I don't see that to be the case. I see it as they trying to get the people what they want. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it is a thing called guilty by association. You know what I'm saying? And it's a trip when you got... You know what I'm saying? People who might not be in the good graces of everybody that's in the immediate facility. You know what I'm saying? That you want to call your, you know what I'm saying? Your buddy, buddy. It's just going to be a conflict of interest at some point because, nigga, you, like I said, you right there. A lot of people ain't started to try to, like, take their frustrations out on Adam. We seen Bo Gaston pull up over there. That's, a, that's something else. You know what I'm saying? But... At the same time, a lot of people ain't start taking their frustrations out at him because they see it's beneficial to be a, a, a ally of his as opposed to being somebody who on the opposing side. You know what I'm saying? This ain't going to say you got nothing to do with nothing until they say you got something to do with it. You know what I mean? And they had to make an executive call. So that's what they end up doing and let it be known that, OK, we're not going to be doing business dealings with this person anymore because it's just not in the best interest of the platform. Being that things can get, you know, things can get out of hand, things can get volatile. It's a trip when it's a business environment, right? But you got to still show up and, and be on some street shit, kind of. Like, you got to show up with your hammer, possibly, because it can possibly go down, and this, that, and the third. And that shit, bro, that's a lot. Niggas don't, niggas is trying to better themselves so that they don't have to be in them type of environments. And it's just a trip for it to be getting like that up there. You know what I'm saying? It never was like that. But like I said, I understand they trying to get the people what they want. That's what I feel like. But Adam is kind of, it, it, it seemed like it was kind of like getting out of control. He got it. He, you know what I'm saying? He had to take the wheel. And that's what, it, it didn't happen, man. It's a trip, bro. You know what I'm saying? T-Real, of course, he going to have his frustrations. They, you know, he been trying to keep it respectful for the most part as far as like just with the politics and this, that, and the third. He even interviewed certain people that's not from where he's from. You know what I'm saying? So he trying to do, he trying to move move forward and be progressive. You know what I mean? And I can respect that, man. I respect that nigga, man. T-Real doing what he do. I respect the whole jump, No Jumper podcast. I fucks with y'all. Like I said, man, I understand the situation, nigga. It's, you know what I mean? But then I understand people saying, okay, man, it's getting out of hand. 
and you trying to, you know, you got too much gangbang activity going on up there, get, get, take the wheel, you know what I mean, uh, speaking of the No Jumper podcast, they went out there to the old block, fuck with Lil Durk and them, <laughs> Hey folks, you gonna give me one of them, one of them things you got, man? You got another, another extra one? You got an extra one, though, bro? Just trying to borrow a stick. Oh, nah, I don't got an extra. I'll send you one, though. Oh, this yours? This your personal one, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You gonna put me on the camera with the good fancy <laughs> here. I don't want to give it to me like he gave it to me. They gave me shit, man. I'm tired. I ain't a hooper. I got the hooper. You trying to stick me? I'm a hooper. Hey, Box, I got him. You want me to get him? I got him. I got him. Y'all gonna get fucked up with that, bro. Come on, get started, bro. Get started. Come on, that's cat, man. Uh-oh. 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 You watch that you ain't fucking with him. Uh-oh. That's it, bro. That's it. That's it. Boss Top, I guess Boss Top was shooting a video with Fredo Bang. Lil Dirk brought off the city with his performance. He brought up Katie Got Bands, uh, G Herba, uh, you know, uh, Zay Osama, a bunch of people, man. And, and uh, people is, you know, looking at Dirk like, like man, he running the city, man. They trying to say Dirk the king of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? It's a trip. You know what I'm saying? It's a trip. But yeah, oh, the No Jumper went out there to, to the old block, to the mural, paid their respects to King Von. That was kind of like a good look. That shit, that's, that's a, that was a cool little vlog. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. Uh, what y'all think about t Real and the situation with the Loke and this, that, and the third? As far as all the politics goes, niggas already know what that is and this, that, and the third. But I just feel like, um, it, it, you know, it, it, like, at the least, right, if y'all was going to have him up there, don't break up Trail, I guess. You know what I'm saying? But Which is weird, too, because he a co-host, and nigga, that's supposed to be y'all folk. But yeah, y'all niggas let me know what y'all think down below, man. It's gang! And I'm telling you with my brother on the phone when I beat you on power room.